Hi everyone, welcome back to my happy place. Um, I'm deep in the Surrey Hills in a video that I was going to do yesterday, uh, but I couldn't do because of the wind. We've got a little bit of a hurricane, whatever it's called, um, or storm something. And there's people streaming, of course, of course, and the sun's come out. But I'm in the village of Abinger, Abinger Hammer, along the A25. I think I've now done pretty much every village along the A25 from Guildford to Seven Oaks. And we have a little walk from here down to Gomshaw, which I done a video from last year, which I'll link below. And lunch at the Gumshall uh, Mill, which I had lunch at last uh, last year, which was lovely. Former uh, early 17th century mill. It's actually great. Got the river Tillingbourne right here. It's a lovely day, 22, 23 degrees at the moment. So uh, yeah, let's have a look around uh, Abinger Hammer. Let's see. Hungry to Mary been there, Forest Green been there, Ockley been there, Guildford been there, Shear, yeah, Gom Short, all videos from these places, Westcott, Dorking, and uh, streaming. Yeah. Always typical. They knew I was coming, they knew I was coming. <laughs> oh dear. Of course, we've got the famous clock at Abinger Hammer and the blacksmith. I think it was installed about 1899. And that's quite iconic as you drive through. I mean, the amount of times I've driven through here and you always see that beautiful, beautiful clock. There's a bridge over the Tillingbourne that go all the way up to Gomshaw and beyond. out into playing fields for cricket and the like. So it's still a bit windy today so I hope you can hear me okay. Yeah, they have like defibrillators and things like that, don't they? Nice little side road here. Um, are some lovely cottages. Rather nice. It gets darker as we go into the into the uh, road and the trees overhead, and then that goes right up into the Surrey Hills. Right, as we walk out of Abinger Hammer, we're going to head back down to Gomshaw. Nice little stretch of the A25, so there might be a lot of traffic. If it gets too loud, I'll put some music on. How about that? Let's go. Oh, 
lovely dew pond down there. I've always loved these buildings. Beautiful, beautiful house. I think it had a heritage plaque on there. What's that got to be? 17th century probably. I've always loved these houses that I've ever driven through. Yeah, the heritage plaque just on the, that building there. And this is cool. This little seating area. I thought it could have been a bus stop, but just a little chill out. I don't really know what it's for. If anyone's got any ideas, let me know. You can just sit down and observe that beautiful house of opposite. Public bridle way, and as ever, and I've said in other videos around this area, Watton Estate Private No Through Road. Oh, your good old Watton Estate, keep out, keep out. Although this is the public bridle way, so you can go down here. But I've said before, Watton Estate, why are you so aggressive with your privacy? Just some houses down there. So let's carry on down the A25 back towards Gomshaw. I say I will link the video from Gonshaw and Pease Lake I did last year below in the description box. But if you want to see the Surrey Hills and all my videos from there, just go into Exploring Surrey playlist and they're all there. There's a public byway up here. Which we're not going to go down. And then. up onto the North Downs which is the beautiful North Downs way so that will be the pathway you can actually get from Newlands Corner down to um, Dorking which is rather lovely it's a long stretch but it's a really really interesting walk with fantastic views down to the South Downs You just have to live with the hum of traffic along the A25. There's not much you can really do about that. I've just used it, so I'm being a complete hypocrite. God, the hundreds of times I've driven along here. Right, let's carry on. Here's a quick look at down here, see what's here. Of course, it's a lovely ri river Tillingbourne. We've got some gorgeous rivers in Surrey. And the river Tillingbourne, if you remember from my previous video, actually goes under the Gomshaw Mill pub that I'm going to goes straight underneath where the mill used to be. And you actually love hearing the trickling of the water away from the A25 and all the traffic. It's just lovely. Private road, but there is a public footpath to Pease Lake. I did that, I didn't know that was there, I'll have to do that sometime. Yeah, it's very nice. I might just carry on going up there all the way to Pease Lake, which isn't that far, probably about a couple of miles over the, I think it's a uh, trackway. I have to uh, 
maybe do that sometime. The wind keeps picking up and calming down, picking up, calming down. But the mic on this is pretty good, so um, I can always adjust it in post. So let's head down to Gomshaw. Back through the tunnel, underneath the uh, railway tracks. Now into Gomshaw. Station. Gumshaw Chapel. Boy, I don't know how often it's used, if at all anymore. It could be just um, another deserted building. Still a bit windy, maybe you can hear me. It's having a coffee outside the Gumshaw Mill before lunch. Just seeing it watching the world go by, which is always nice. I'm sure you liked it too. Lovely day, blue skies, bit of cloud, but white cloud, it's alright. 